brand new Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive long range estimated range VLTP 600 km. It's brand new, yesterday was released and I have the chance and thank you very much Tesla uh, for giving me the car for one week to test it. And today I wanna take it in Switzerland to make a round all the Switzerland and I wanna stretch out the car, I wanna push it and I wanna see if I can reach 600 km. I'm not going to stop until the car will almost die. I want to stop the car when it has 1% and in this video stay with me because it will be very interesting. I will give you also some uh, information and technical data about the car before we start but stay with me because I want to make it also like a nice trip and uh, give you some information about uh, Switzerland but in the same time give you all the information about this brand new Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive long range. I think, I think this car might be one of the most interesting car out there today to buy if you really need range and in the same time to keep that performance. And yeah, let me give you some information about the car and then we will start driving. First of all, very important is the fact that I just came here at Tesla Supercharger to make it full, to start with a completely, completely full battery and then I will update you as we go on the road. First of all, I want to point out that this new Model Y rear wheel drive long range is built in Germany and you can see right here, if you see that uh, this VIN number start with XP, that means it's built in Germany. That's very important. Other than that, I just check out a little bit the car uh, around before I start the video to look at the gaps between the panels and it seems to be very, very good aligned. So I didn't find any flaws anyway and I can go also with you to show you in case you don't believe me. So I, I find out that it's really, really good aligned. So no problem, no flaws. And I also drive the car a little bit until here and it feels quite nice. We will talk about the driving feeling in a separate video anyway it comes also the same as double glassing like you have double glassing on the other models standard range long range performance kind of the same body not uh, any changes in terms of uh, the body of the car the same quality we will talk in a second about uh, the other options and so on very important it's uh, Tesla point out the tires the tires will help a lot this range uh, it comes with those Hankook tires, uh, 19 inch wheels, so you can reach out this 600 kilometer only with those uh, Gemini uh, rims, with those plastic caps that are aerodynamic. Uh, this is the Ventus S1 Evo 3 EV T2. Uh, so those are special made to improve the range uh, on EVs and also on Tesla, they have a collaboration with them and uh, they point out that it's very important if you want to reach out 600 km to have these tires or some kind of uh, super performance tires for EV cars, but they are tested with those tires. That's something that I want to point out before we go inside the car. Other than that, uh, this is kind of uh, standard. Uh, it has, uh, it's a white color, so it's not extra on the colors. Now let me put the charging in and then start charging the car. Anyway, it's almost charged full, but I still want to make it completely full. I want to put the charger in and let's go inside the car and we will talk a little bit inside. Uh, another important thing guys is the fact that inside is the same. I mean the seats are the same, the steering wheel is the same, the same good quality, uh, the same well built. Like I have it also on my um, standard range for example or long range or uh, performance. Now uh, the interior is the black that I have with me. The car was almost full but I still want to make it completely full before we start driving so to make it really clear for everybody. First of all is the same 79-75 kilowatt hour NMC battery that you have on long range version. The other the only thing that they change they basically have only one rear electric motor on the rear but other than that the battery is the same the same high density battery the charging speed up to 250 kilowatt this is very important because you can charge it as fast as long range version and this is really important another important factor is the fact that the car come with all the premium features like sound system heating pump standard it comes also with this extra HEPA filter and 
everything else like you get on the long range you will have it also on this long range rear wheel drive right now it's charging with uh, 14 kilowatt hour you can see right here and it's 99 percent i will show you in a second you can see uh, how you differentiate the battery lfp from this nmc you can see it right here daily or trip so they really recommend you to charge it only to 80 percent now for the purpose of the test we charge it 100 percent but if you saw if you see this here you mean uh, you have the nmc battery and it's normal to have it uh, to have this nmc battery because it's much more dense so it gives you much more range that's the idea a long range to stretch out the range but i'm super excited to see the consumption to see the range to see what uh, we can get in this trip i will go on the highway in the city on the mountain up on the mountain down on the mountain all kind of street traffic and we will see in the end what kind of consumption and what is the experience with the car so stay with me because it will be really interesting and by the way if you still have question ask me down below whatever question you have car is charged 200 percent and let me show you how much it shows you 505 kilometer and you probably wonder okay but why tesla said 600 kilometer vltp on the website estimated is the same story with all the models my model is the same when i get it first time was estimated 455 kilometer and here was said like 518 kilometer and on the new model free highland the same story i noticed also there the same story it shows you less than its estimated vltp but we will not going to take into consideration this i'm not sure how they calculate it's kind of complicated to understand but we will just focus on the real real world uh, consumption i will reset it from here going to trip and trip a we will go to trip a and reset the trip a and we will see how much we can get we will drive of course in chill mode comfort on the steering wheel oh i want to stop the climatic system comfort on the steering wheel and uh, i just set up the navigation will be really interesting i want to drive from zurich we go to bern and from bern we go all over to almost to geneve in that area lausanne geneve and then we will go to martini and then we will try to go to visp and then make a big big uh, round around ticino locarno around this area it's very beautiful italian area um, and then we will go all the way up and then back to Zurich until here are almost 200 kilometers but I will drive until the battery is one percent so around there so we will see will be really really interesting anyway let's start driving guys before we start driving I want to point out a few settings that I will use in this trip so first of all the first setting will be uh, the climatic system I will definitely put it on 22 degrees and I will set up without hitting in the seats of course I will set it up on manual level one without hitting steering wheel because it comes with heated steering wheel heated seat and all that stuff level one climatic system on uh, 22 degrees inside it's good just like that and I will just leave it like that and then we will drive or maybe because today outside are 10 degrees yeah let me close it completely I, I just turn it off completely without climatic system all the trip I will keep it like that uh, because I want to reach 600 maybe I can pass 600 uh, now I want to reset one more time uh, the trip trip a reset uh, and pedal and drive chill mode I will drive only in chill mode and steering wheel will be on comfort mode just to know the settings now let's drive it press the brake put it in drive and let's drive it guys the car come with all the 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 latest updates that other model Y come with adaptive high beam and all that stuff so first of all we will drive a little bit in the city we will go outside of Zurich we are around Zurich here in the Eticon and we will drive here a little bit slower probably a little bit traffic I will drive in the speed limit I don't want to exceed the speed limit in Switzerland usually maximum it's 120 I will drive maximum 125 or something like that so uh, will be uh, that will be the highway speed we will go on the highway of course and also in the city it's 50 km per hour 60 or sometimes outside the city is 80 but I will try to keep somehow in the 
in the speed limit so that's really important and in Switzerland you really have to keep those speed limits because you get such a big uh, huge uh, tickets if you if you exceed the speed so yeah I will try to keep it regulamentary in the in the law rules anyway the driving feeling it's as I said before a little bit heavier than the normal standard range it has kind of similar feeling in terms of heaviness to the long-range all-wheel drive here I have some batteries that's moving around I will yeah in case you're wondering what you hear like that um, but other than that the same 4.0 hardware autopilot all that stuff it's here so yes make no point to talk about that it's just driving so first of all we have a part where we drive just um, in the city I just want to move on the other lane because we have to make left here this guy let me and the same button up here easy to reach out and we have to go left here anyway uh, and then we will go out on the highway here is the highway it's not so farther away and we will go out on the highway and then I will reach the highway speed so first kilometer the consumption 159 we go uphill a little bit really excited to see man I'm, I'm, I'm crazy excited to see the the final result uh, the steering and the driving feeling seems to be quite sportier quite heavier it feels relatively heavier like the long-range all-wheel drive and I like that in comparison with my standard range where the car it feels quite light uh, this one feel really heavy like has a little bit of sportier feeling suspension seems to be good and also the sound insulation but yeah more about that we will talk in a, a separate test drive video so yeah see you later guys I just want to update you after around 80 km um, I want to stop in around uh, 4 km because I want to make some pictures here to the supercharger and I want to update you with the trip and the consumption so until now I drive on the highway right now I stop a little bit on the side but I drive 120 100 80 km per hour on some construction sites and was kind of a mix I should say I don't know average speed maybe 90 km per hour but yeah it was a quite mix I drive maximum 125 just for uh, let's say a few minutes but in general uh, not so long uh, and the consumption it's really really good 135 watt hour per kilometer it's incredible in this way if I still drive like that I will probably reach 600 kilometer I'm really on the edge there and I'm really curious uh, but you can see average range on the last kilometer last 50 kilometer 126 watt hour so it's incredible uh, pre projection uh, range it's 532 kilometer from here and I already have 80 kilometer so it's just 
interesting to see what's uh, what will going on outside it's much warmer 16 degrees incredible weather really good weather the tire pressure was perfect inflated we start with 2.9 now we have 3.0 bars so the tires pressure it's really really good nothing to uh, complain about that so until now I'm crazy happy I'm on the track to beat the record I'm definitely want to be the first in the world to um, hit 600 kilometers so I'm I'm going uh, on this way uh, the climatic system it's still off it's a pleasant temperature the spring it's it's incredible here in Switzerland so the temperature it's really really good uh, now we go a little bit on the city uh, go to a supercharger not to charge just to make some picture with the charging and with the car and then from there we will uh, go ahead so yeah anyway I want to also point out that the roads in Switzerland are almost perfect. They are really really good and smooth. Uh, plus here we have a part of the road where we can drive 120 km per hour. So probably this part of the road uh, from here around maybe 100 km we will drive only on the highway at this kind of speeds 120 km per hour sometimes 100 but most of the time 120 124 maximum I don't want to exceed 124 25 km per hour uh, I will drive in the speed limit but the thing is that I just want to update you and I just want to show you that we definitely uh, drive with this kind of speed so we can incorporate this kind of speed and you can see how the road here because it's not straight away it goes up and down and up and down it's not uh, always straight uh, on this line we have until now 129 kilometer 130 kilometer and the consumption until now it's 144 watt hour per kilometer it's very very close to the VLTP estimated so we are we are there in books uh, almost to reach out the 600 kilometers but it's pretty pretty hard uh, now we go down as you see right here the consumption go up and down it's we we never know 17 degrees outside the tire pressure free 3.1 i see from one tire it's still fine i mean we still have 74 percent battery up there so yeah I'm, I'm really really excited to see with how much battery we will uh, reach the destination the car insulation it's it's quite good uh, also the comfort over the bumps on the seats seems to be super super nice
almost reached 200 kilometers, 194 kilometers until now, and the consumption is 138 watt hour per kilometer. I just drive all that part that you saw also a little bit earlier on the highway at high speed, kind of 100 and 120 around there. That was the that was the uh, average speed was also a part where I have to drive 80 so I don't know average speed maybe around let's say 100 but uh, overall I'm super surprised even though outside it's a lovely weather it's perfect for those kind of uh, tests because we have 17 degrees outside the tire pressure it's uh, 3.0 it's just perfect the way it should be uh, also I'm, I'm quite surprised I still have 63% battery but I have to rethink a little bit the trip because I don't think I can reach out uh, what I have in purpose for the first time and I don't want to charge the car uh, so I have to change a little bit the uh, the trip that we will go back so we will go uh, until here Veve was right here in this area with Lausanne a little bit backward but I have to go left to Montreal and then I will stop right here in a village and from the village we will go kind of back but between the mountains uh, and I try to go there because it's not a highway uh, if we will go farther away on the trip that I plan will be only highway and I want to go also between the mountains because there is not a highway so we can drive also at lower speed a little bit of twisty roads look how beautiful is this lake lake uh, Geneva lake it's it's fantastic uh, you should definitely visit if you come in Switzerland and down there is Montreal I don't know if you can see the buildings it looks just fantastic anyway here you can see 80 100 right now uh, the speed is going lower and lower a little bit but I'm I'm crazy surprised uh, the the consumption it's quite quite good it's not bad so definitely um, for those of you that are on the market for an um, SUV with uh, long range bigger range I think this might be one of the best option that you can get these days Anyway, we will take the conclusion at the end because I'm, I'm, uh, I want to keep it uh, until the end. Just stopped for a second here to rest a little bit. We did uh, 210 kilometers and I already feel like I want to sit up a little bit, a little bit of walking, a little bit of drinking, a little bit of rest. And for those of you that says uh, you need long range, 800 kilometer, 1000 kilometer, I don't know how many people can drive so long without taking a break. I think every 300 kilometer at least you should make a break to drink a little bit, to walk a little bit, uh, otherwise you will be really, really tired. So I think it's, until now I have almost more than half battery and I need to take a break. First of all, it's a beautiful place right here. I didn't plan to stop here, but uh, we stopped for a while. I wanna show you all the information uh, of the car and then I wanna show you also the new trip and we will go, we will start the new trip. Uh, so you can see 209 kilometer, 134 watt hour per kilometer was the consumption until now. If we go here, because on the last part we go downhill a little bit, you can see how small is the consumption. And it says like we can still do 566 kilometers, something that it's impossible, but yeah. We will see in the end. Uh, also, if you go to the drive here information, you can see how much things we consume uh, energy for for what things so you can see right here um, what they claim before you can see this with black before and what I did so I kind of beat the estimation a little bit um, yeah but yeah if you look here it says like you consume 0.3 percent more than trip projections yeah I don't know why it says like that but anyway if you look here, driving, uh, because of driving I consume more than they project. Not sure what 
probably the wind you can see 3.7 km per hour wind from the north saved this trip yeah the wind saved us a little bit of energy but other than that climatic system uh, was closed and other than things yeah everything else just 0.2 percent so it's nothing anyway uh, let's go back to numbers 62 percent battery it says we can still do 313 kilometers down here we have 134 209 kilometer already made until now and now I want to change the trip let me end up this trip and from here we came all over from Zurich until here and we still have more than half battery this is impressive and from here I want to go through the mountains you see those mountains right there I want to go through them uh, and we will go like here here to the mountains and then I want to go out here in speeds around Interlaken for those of you that were in Switzerland and I want to go from Interlaken all the way like that I'm not sure if I can reach that and here it is a supercharger around here check this out this in Lucerne I, I definitely want to do that I'm not sure if I can do it I don't want to put it on supercharger because the car start to preheat and I will lose some heat uh, but I will put it close to supercharger just like that and I want to see how much yeah you see the the car tell me to go on the on the same track that's like, like we came until here and I don't want to do that actually I want to go through the mountains around here and uh, why I don't want to show me anyway then we do the other we do a trick we do it like that uh, I put it first of all to speeds let, let me put it here in speeds I want to put it right here so the car come on right here drive there and then just loading and then the same thing aha uh -huh, okay I have this so it's two hours you see that shortest the shortest is two hours and I choose this shortest and yeah we go to the mountains because it's a beautiful way plus it's a natural park the Gria Natural Park around here and plus it's a twisty road and mountains and so on and then we can go here and from here we will go here in Lucerne so we will try that and we will see how much battery we still have around there uh, cool right so I put it like this and then just go there all right perfect so this is a trip this is the plan that we do I'm really curious I'm really looking forward to see it's 100 kilometer until there and we will see with how much we can uh, reach there so yeah uh, let's start driving guys and I update you a little bit later amazing amazing road we have a lot of um, let's say amazing curves and beautiful panoramic view around here it's also great because the speed it's around 80 km per hour also we have some villages so we can mix out uh, the test and the consumption and this is crazy important I promise you now we go up up on the mountain again so it is a, a quite good mix up down um, yeah will be will be really interesting I just barely get here on this 
uh, I made only one kilometer from highway until here and the consumption uh, on this on those kilometers are 481 watt hour per kilometer so pretty big consumption because mostly we are going up on the mountain right now so this is normal so probably the consumption will suffer a little bit in these areas but those twisty roads are crazy crazy beautiful and it's fun and pleasant to drive around here plus it's it's a na natural beauty around here but the problem is that I will need a lot of time to reach my destination you can see one hour and ten minutes for 58 kilometers so that will suffer a little bit but uh, that's it we have I have to to sacrifice one day for this test from morning until the evening I will do only this uh, video for you and this test to see uh, and to bring you more information so I hope you appreciate that guys because I need a lot of time and um, I hope it will be useful for you for those of you that want to buy a car want to buy an electric car they are not sure which model I hope I can bring you as many information as possible look how beautiful it is this area it's it's crazy beautiful outside 19 degrees it's a little bit hotter right now and the tire pressure is still the same usually it goes higher when outside it's much more hotter but it's still it's still the same maybe I can find some nice places here to make some pictures as well uh, yeah in terms of um, update and consumption uh, yeah it makes no sense to talk about now I will update you a little bit later I told you guys this road is fantastic it's, it's just incredible this is the Gruyere Park it's a natural park uh, it's also um, protected and it's just insane if you come in Switzerland I definitely recommend you to take this road even though it's not a highway there are so many things to see here it's so much natural beauty the people that live around here they really take care of this place um, it's totally safe it's 
it's fabulous and even the buses uh, pass around here if you don't have a car it's crazy it's a twisty road you can see the mountain ahead uh, in front there you can see a lot a lot of forest and trees and it's gorgeous not only with the car it's gorgeous also with motorcycle to come around here and there are so many people that come um, Switzerland it's it's such a nice place and if you didn't visit yet I definitely recommend you to come and visit um, I enjoy so much driving on those kind of twisty roads uh, between the woods in the forest with an electric car a silent car a clean car that doesn't <laughs> pollute the environment around here it's it's fabulous anyway I'm I'm, I'm so happy uh, to be here and to be honest I drive the car for almost three hours now and I enjoy so much driving it really I, I really like it I like the a little bit of heaviness added to it to be honest I like much more this feeling than my standard range because my standard range is a little bit lighter it feels lighter this one feels a little bit heavier for my taste it's better i don't know for other people also the steering wheel seems to be a little bit more stiffer even if i put it in comfort mode it's still a little bit stiffer i know someone asked me in the comments a while ago i don't remember exactly when uh, asked me about the steering wheel if on tesla model y it's stiffer I can say on this one it is stiffer so if you want a lighter one I recommend you to go with standard range because it has uh, a lighter feeling overall but yeah I I just promise I deliver I will show you some nice places I can go everywhere in Switzerland to show you <laughs> for that reason probably I need a travel channel to show you all the Switzerland but um, yeah I think we can mix it up in a nice way so you can have a little bit of information and also a little bit of uh, beauty anyway uh, a small update we are reaching 236 kilometers and the consumption until now it's 154 watt hour per kilometer because uh, we were going uphill on the mountain right here we were on the mountain and now we go downhill uh, so we lost a lot of energy so uh, now that we go down we can recuperate a little bit of that energy that we lost also 19 degrees outside the weather is fabulous and we reach 50% we are at half of the battery right now we have we still have 50% battery so we can see how much we can drive so right now if we calc if we look logically we did 237 kilometer uh, plus another 237 kilometer um, yeah we barely reach 500 kilometers but we will see in the end how uh, how much how many kilometers we will do but look look how beautiful it is here between those trees in the forest driving man it's so beautiful it's so beautiful and the car it's running so smooth the sound insulation it's really good I can definitely say it's really kind of the same as the new model free Highland anyway uh, from now on man I love this road it's I like on this type of roads where it, yeah look at this man it stays so good it's set up so good the heaviness helped the car a lot at high speed and also on those twisty roads it helped to stay much better on the on the road uh, so that heaviness um, give it that nice driving feeling over those twisty roads and I for me it's much nicer feeling than on my uh, car of course in the city you want to be assisted and easy to drive and light but here on twisty road at high speeds you want to have that nice handlings and stability and great curves super fun to drive wow I like it I can stop the video because I like too much to drive around here. <laughs> anyway, uh, see you later guys. I will update you from the destination and then I will uh, remap the trip and we will see how much uh, range we still have.
reach out the destination I changed a little bit the trip when I arrived in that small village I felt really hungry and I'm super tired and I already drive 325 kilometers and I know a shop around here in Interlaken so I just uh, get on the uh, right track uh, for about 20 kilometers more I will show you in a second uh, because I want to eat something here at Lidl uh, this Lidl in Interlaken for those of you that want to come in Switzerland and uh, want to buy something Sunday uh, you can come here because Sunday usually all the shops are close but this Lidl it's open anyway it doesn't matter uh, I want to show you so first of all uh, we came from uh, the mountains from up here, right? And the thing is that uh, Wait a second. Let me show you all the map Church church church. We came from from here. Where is that? Mm, let me sh Why is not loading from here just like that we came from here Just like that so we came from Eigel up to Spitz and then from Spitz I told you I will stop here but I didn't stop so I go from Spitz in this way so we, I go all the way in Interlaken but all the road was the same like you saw in uh, previous images twisty roads the speed was like maximum uh, 80 km per hour 85 something like that but average speed around 65 70 km per hour let's say 60 um, it was a kind of a one and a half hour trip but most of it was like village and also out of the village with 80 km per hour uh, first part of the trip 150 km was a highway but this second part uh, 150 km was like twisty road and we have until now 320 25 kilometer made uh, we use like 42 kilowatt hour and then the consumption it's 128 watt hour per kilometer it's incredible the consumption it's crazy I know Switzerland has amazing roads no traffic everything it's smooth and nice but uh, perfect temperature by the way 22 degrees outside for the electric cars 3.1 uh, the tire pressure great and we still have 43 percent battery it's insane and here it says 218 kilometer you can still drive so that means we can reach over 500 kilometer but i'm still uh looking forward to see what happened to the end of the trip uh what else here it says like on the last kilometer you can see on the last part because we go up on the mountain like more than 50 kilometers and then um, more than 50 we go downhill you can see how how good is the consumption on the last 50 kilometers it's insane but yeah this is uh complicated to say now the next trip that i want to do it's going back to zurich zurich it's around here but we will go also some areas we will go in um, kind of a national roads not a highway until here but here from 
from Lucerne I want to go on uh, highway again and also test the highway and then in Zurich we will have a little bit of traffic around there so we can basically uh, try everything uh, now where I want to go in Lucerne uh, let me think a little bit I wanna yeah let, let's go here let's see if I can reach this area because this area it's also quite quite beautiful and let's see which road it tell me to take okay that means 94 kilometer I can do that and I reach there with 28 percent battery and then I have a charger around there let's see yeah there are plenty of charging station and eventually I can go here or to other okay let's go there let's go there I will leave it like that this area it's it's fantastic man this area around here around Lucerne this lake Lucerne Lake and all this area uh, there are mountains it's splendid this area so I really recommend you to go there if you come in Switzerland anyway uh, also no highway twisty roads until there another 100 kilometers it says we will reach with 28% I don't know we will see but yeah I go a little bit to eat something from here drink something and then we will uh, start so yeah let's do it on the road back again I just finished eating and we are back on this beautiful track again some twisty roads you saw the images a little bit earlier amazing amazing um, panoramic view and amazing roads and still we drive around 60 70 80 we drive a little bit earlier on the highway with 100 but a very short period of time but still still left right down up we go up we go down and so on so until now we have made 354 kilometers 134 watt hour per kilometer is the consumption until now a little bit higher than before because we were up on the mountain but now we go down again so probably the consumption will, will get lower um, also what else we still have 30 36 percent battery and it says that we will arrive there with around 31 percent battery and we have to drive 65 kilometers so we will see with how much how many percentage will reach the destination um, but yeah definitely the car it's it's much much more pleasant to drive on those kind of road conditions sharpie um, twisty roads then uh, then the standard range it's like it's like you're driving the long range but in super chill mode this is the feeling when you drive this 
rear wheel drive long range. It feels like it has enough power, so nothing to, to complain from this point of view. Anyway, I think I will update you directly when we will arrive there. You can see how up we are on the mountain and then now we have to go down. And right now when we go down, the car recuperates all that energy back into the battery. So that's so useful on the electric cars. And not only this, but when you go downhill from the mountain with a normal car, you have to use the physical brakes. And when you use the physical brakes, they get hotter and hotter and hotter. And at certain point, um, they can even break. Uh, but with electric cars, the good part is that they regenerate the energy. They don't use the physical brake most of the time. I didn't even use the brake right now because I always anticipate the traffic. So the car is just regenerate the energy, but the brake discs are not touch. I'm sure um, the, the brakes from the cars in front are super warm, hot right now. But if you have to take the, the temperature between them, you will see the, the difference. I'm crazy tired. We did 424 kilometers until now. We reach out in Sisikon, I will show you in a second. And I think I get the range anxiety, but not the range anxiety, the opposite of the range anxiety. Because um, the car doesn't want to empty the battery. That That's a problem. I wish the battery to get empty faster but it doesn't want to it still have 30 percent battery and we have 424 kilometer consumption 123 watt hour per kilometer 52 kilowatt hour we use until now and it's been crazy we uh, almost did a, a whole um, tour round and uh, we are right here but we still have um, let's say around 150 kilometer for sure. So if I go directly to let's say if I go directly to Zurich right now in this moment uh, Let's see we go here around Zurich to see how much um, Let me go a little bit closer Let's see we want to go here in this area uh, But not that supercharger because then we will lose energy 
uh, close to supercharger let's say here if we go there it says <laughs> calculate 47 kilometers and we still reach with 20 percent battery that's crazy insane so we have to take a detour probably so we have to go probably like that 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 something like that I wanna I, I think I will do it because otherwise we will reach the destination in Zurich and we will still have plenty of energy or I have another idea if I turn around here and I go here how much battery I have there nah but not in this way yeah because I wanna go back like that it's still 40 okay it doesn't matter uh, okay let's go to Lucerne first but it's not a good idea if you go in the city now we will be super crowded and we will be stuck there we have to go around the city and in the end go inside the city so um, in order to go on the highway if I go directly to Zurich we will definitely go on the highway so um, let's go here to Baden let's go here to Baden and then we will go from Baden back to Zurich down because here are 79 kilometers okay that's perfect 16 percent let's see if I still have a charger ah okay it's perfect there let's go there and then we will go back if I don't have an, a, enough battery so just just do it like that um, set the destination one hour 79 kilometers we reach out with 16 percent we will see right now 424 kilometer we have made I'm I'm crazy tired man uh, right now uh, usually you have to stop to recharge the battery for uh, if you make a long trips but I'm, I'm surprised to be honest I'm surprised um, it's, it's good it's really good anyway I will update you directly on the next stop uh, it's a beautiful uh, area here it's close to Lake Lucerne amazing amazing place uh, so if you want to visit it, Sisikon is the name. Anyway, I will update you uh, at the next stop, guys. Guys, I'm freaking excited, but the traffic broke my my uh, test. Check this out, it's, it's super traffic around here. We are around Zurich, it's six o'clock. I promise you a little bit of traffic, so that's normal, but incredible. I'm super excited. Man, I, I, was, I was so tired and dead, you saw me before, and now I'm, I'm crazy pumped up and excited because First of all, when I start driving, I, I know that you should uh, subtract around 100 km for the, from the estimated range. But when I reach 470 km, I was like, 
oh my god it's possible to reach 600 and then I start to drive a little bit slower uh, usually until now I drive normal but then I start to drive a little bit slower in order to reach this and now I get the traffic but check this out we have made 487 kilometers until now and we still have 20% that mean another 100 kilometer plus those uh, we can basically reach um, almost 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 600 but if we look here and if I drive the way I drive in the last 25 kilometers or the way I drive in the last 50 kilometer I can still do 143 that mean I can reach and pass 600 and that will be a world record for me uh, at least uh, range with this car because I'm one of the first who drive it so it's normal uh, world record but that will be impressed right an SUV model Y over 600 kilometer range who amazing anyway I don't know how much traffic it is and I don't know how much time I have to stay here but it's a heavy traffic uh, this is really heavy I really stay here for five minutes and I didn't move 100 meter this is also very bad for the economy because this stay and go stay and go stay and go uh, use some energy because the car is heavy and yeah you lost some traction uh, you lose some energy in this uh, traffic but wow impressive so it's it's de definitely definitely possible we still have like 16 kilometers to the destination and the plan was to come back in the traffic but now that we have already traffic I'm not sure if I want traffic anymore to be honest and I think the traffic will still be on until here until this highway intersection where people go possible inside the city um, I'm not sure about that we will see as we go and I will update you a little bit later I tell you I will update you when we reach the destination but I'm so excited and pump out so I want to share with you this uh, experience and I also share want to share with you that we stay in traffic and I was also I can activate autopilot but the autopilot the problem it's it's accelerate to uh, suddenly you know like too uh, rapid and it's brake too rapid and I want to take the control because I can play with the pedal a little bit <laughs> smoother now I'm uh, now I'm on the game man now I want to challenge myself and the car to reach this I want to throw out some some water and some uh, heavy stuff We reach out this destination 
actually it's another destination because when I reach that destination I notice that I have more than enough range and I decide to go a little bit farther away in Jura Park in uh, Argao I don't know for those of you that know Switzerland and I'm in a village and I decide I, I still have 15% battery and I decide to stop because if I go too farther away from the supercharger maybe I can reach it back so I decide to stop and we will drive in the supercharger direction I want to show you right now um, so let's see here I decide to go to um, this supercharger in the Eticon around Switzerland so it's the 16 if we look right here you will see the 15 16 should be up here this is the 16 and I will put the navigation close to it not directly on the supercharger otherwise uh, I think on this street just like that otherwise uh, it will preheat and then we will lose a lot of energy for nothing so until there it's like 28 kilometers 25 minutes and I, I decide to do that it says like we still have 11% when we reach there but if I still have 11% probably we will go around those streets forward and backward where where is this ah here we will go around those streets forward and backward like that probably for five kilometers or something like that and then in the end when we have one percent we go to the supercharger and see what is the real range until now we have 522 kilometers we still have 15 percent 78 and here it still says like i can still do around 114 kilometers man i'm excited I'm freaking excited about that and I didn't I didn't plan that really I just anyway let's drive it and um, I, w I will update you when we are really really close around 5% around there so yeah let's drive it let's finish this I basically drive in circle on the street around supercharger station I still have 5% battery left I don't want to show you how many kilometer I did until now I want to be a surprise for the end so stay until the end to see uh, anyway I don't want to show you any any emotion or stuff like that I'm a little bit disappointed I was expect to be better if you ask me but 
but I guess I guess it's okay anyway I still have 5% I still have some hope left so um, yeah we still drive in circle 5% um, it tell me that I can still drive around 24 kilometers so I can add another 24 kilometer not sure about that if that's real or not but we will see in the end it's dark outside it's totally dark and in the last hour one hour and a half I really drive um, in the city you saw before some images I was on the mountain and then go from the mountain but not exceed the 80 km per hour 60 80 km per hour was the the maximum speed anyway um, I'm quite excited I'm quite quite excited to see the result as well because I'm, I'm not sure what will be the number I have a guess but I'm not sure so yeah stay until the end to see the result guys I was thinking I have patience but <laughs> it's crazy hard to have patience to drive around and round and round and I just start to drive a little bit faster like 40 km per hour and I still have Ah, wait, I don't want to show you. <laughs> I don't want to show you the numbers, but I just want to show you that I still have 3% battery left, and I'm still round and round and round, like 40 km per hour, 50 km per hour, just make a few rounds here to see the result. Man, it's a big day. Elon Musk, if you see this video, you have to share it, man. You have to share it everywhere. I think this video <laughs> will sell a lot of Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive long range. I, I, I already sold a lot of Tesla cars uh, to my channel because they are amazing cars. But I think this video, pff, without any purpose, without any preparation, without having in mind to stretch out the range I just think about in the end of the video I think if I start over from scratch oh boy I can I kill I can kill it but I'm 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 happy and it's super super late it's I already drive for I don't know from maybe 12 o'clock until now I don't know there are a few probably eight hours or something like that I don't know I also break I eat for one hour I stop to to take a few shots with the car some videos so that lasts probably two three two and a half hours the breaks and the videos but other than that I just uh, just drive all right guys so I'm finally here at Tesla supercharging station and I have the final number. I still have 2% battery, but I'm a little bit scared to go ahead. Probably, I will show you in a second. Uh, let me park it uh, somewhere ah, a little bit forward. I think it's, it's better to park it around here and let's talk a little bit. Anyway, here has Tesla 24-7 launch where you can go to toilet, you can sit there inside, it's amazing and all the Tesla owners can sit there, something that I wish all car manufacturers to have in the future when you charge the car to be able to go inside somewhere. Uh, of course you need a code for those of you that already know that. Anyway, I want to park it and I want to talk right now really serious stuff guys check this out are you ready and the final result and the final the final the final the range the range is right here guys check this out 624 kilometers is not that insane also error put the vehicle to the battery blah 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 battery low and I have 2% left here up it says I can still drive 10 kilometers but the reality is that under 0% you still have some buffer and the reality is, is because with this 2% here this is the pessimistic number 
I noticed that after my experience today. This is the pessimistic number and here is more realistic number. If you go right here and if you look on the last, based on the last 10 kilometers, the average consumption and you can see how many kilometers you can still drive. If I was still rounding and rounding in the city without too much stopping or stopping sometimes when some cars come, uh, that will be another 17 kilometer added or on the last 25 kilometer again 17 or on the last uh, 50 kilometer you can see where I was on the mountain here I told you a little bit earlier uh, you can still do 19 kilometers so 17 kilometers you add it here plus the buffer it goes around let's say 650 the way I drive but I can drive even more uh, yeah much much more economical than that i can drive because i think uh 80 percent of the time 80 percent of the trip i was doing like normal driving without trying anything and the final consumption was 117 watt hour per kilometer uh, yeah climatic system was off as you saw before let's make a little bit more light because it's a happy day it's a big day man it's a big day not only for me but also for Tesla, it's a big day for me because I have never driven an electric car for so many kilometers without being uh, needed to charge it. And ch check this out, since charge, right? Look at this, since charge, not only trip A, but since charging, 624 kilometer. It's crazy, right? It's crazy, crazy, crazy. It's Tesla Model Y. If you don't believe me, I will go out and show you a little bit later. But anyway, uh, let me explain you how I drive. So, you saw that in the beginning, because I didn't plan this video, after, when I, when I reached 470 km, I was thinking, I calculate and I was thinking, man, I can reach 600 if I drive a little bit more economical now. And I try to drive a little bit more, more economical. And then when I see at 500 and something that it's really possible, then I start to drive even more economical because, the, because then I want to uh, reach and pass 600, you know, to beat this VLTP. And to show that this is possible, but I didn't plan that. If I was planning from the beginning, maybe if I'm, if I have time, I will do another video where I try to drive as economical as possible. But in the same time, you don't have to bother the other uh, cars on the road, you know. So I try in this video, at least on the last two, two hours, three hours, to not bother the other ones. If someone come from behind, then I drive faster, you know. But if it was free, I drive a little bit slower. But I told you, like, I, I mean, until 470 km, I just drive normal. Like any other person in the speed limit, but if it's 120, I keep 120. It's 100, 100. Of course, it was perfect condition. The tire pressure was perfect. Summer tires, uh, 20 degrees outside, sun today, not so much uh, traffic in the beginning, but then in the end was traffic. But surprisingly, even on the traffic, I didn't lost uh, energy I mean it was like really good also on traffic you know electric cars if you don't use the climatic system they don't lose uh, anything on the on the um, traffic and stuff like that so um, I drive in traffic I drive on the highway I drive on the mountain up and down I drive in the city I drive at uh, low speeds uh, the, the maximum speed in this trip was 125 that's something to keep in mind and was not hold for longer so yeah that's really really important to keep in mind uh, it's possible this is the answer it's possible to reach 600 driving economical in good conditions it's possible it's not like it's not it's impossible you know because I always said in my video if you buy an electric car it says 500 kilometer you just put minus uh, 100 you know and then you have like from 500 you have just 400 and here probably you will if you will drive faster climatic system heating on raining wind today was no wind that's another good thing uh, wind and all that stuff probably then you will have like uh, maybe 450 for sure 400 450 kilometer you will have for sure on this car so that's that's the thing that's the answer guys i don't know what else to tell you um yeah if you go here to drive information they give you also a few information on uh 
<laughs> it's telling me that I consume 0.1% more than tree projection. Yeah, very, thank you very much. <laughs> and then it says here like on the last uh, last 298 kilometers, uh, 5 hours I did, 105 meter per kilometer. It tells me that uh, I use more for driving than I should use. And other than that, uh, nothing else. It's uh, nothing else. It's uh, it's losting. Uh, even though the cars uh, still have the lights on and all that stuff, but crazy surprisingly, I think if you drive super economical, perfect condition, you can reach uh, 600 uh, easily. So guys, I hope this video was useful. I'm super tired. I'm mega tired after this video. It's one of the most hard video that you can do. Uh, I hope it's useful. I hope you get some useful information from here. Uh, if you still have questions, ask me down below. I will answer you with pleasure. If you want to buy a Tesla, uh, no matter which model, also this model Y uh, long range rear wheel drive, I will leave my referral link on the description and also on the screen of the video. You can use mine uh, if you want to buy a Tesla. Uh, and also if you need help you can ask me whatever question you have thank you very much for watching Elon and all of you that are fans Tesla fans and if you want to promote your car because now I think is the the perfect time to promote uh, with a real test you can share this video I will really appreciate that you can share it post it everywhere um, guys you did a great job I don't know Tesla Model Y probably will stay the most, was the most sold car in 2023, electric and also from all, probably will be also in 2024, amazing car, amazing, amazing, thank you for watching, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, uh, also stay close because will come really interesting videos, I will have a few other videos with the same car, more explanation and technical data, and yeah, that was all guys. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.